Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're gonna to be grinding a couple knives. Now, if you've seen the videos in the past I've put up on grinding bevels with a jig and also my freehand bevel grinding, um, you know that I do both. Um, I find that certain models of the knives I make uh, work out better when I grind them with a jig. Some of them work out better when I grind them freehand. Now, what I found in the past is when you are grinding a really steep, uh, almost like a Scandi grind, uh, that bevel jig helps a lot at keeping everything really tight and really square. When you're grinding a little bit taller bevel, um, I like to do them freehand. Now, so for today's video, I'm going to be grinding a couple of these, uh, I believe they're called like the bottle opener something from Swag. Now, Swag's the company that makes these uh, portable bandsaw tables. I probably should have cleaned it off a little bit so you guys can see it. Um, they, they make a ton of stuff, but as far as the knife making community goes, they make this thing that mounts your portable bandsaw, and I use it every day. It works really good. They started doing some custom blanks, and they sent me a couple of these to check out. You can see it's a pretty simple profile, nice solid handle. Uh, this one is 1095. I heat treated it to about a 63 Rockwell, so it should perform really well. And where's the other one right here? You can see I've got this one surface ground and I've got it scribed and we are ready to grind it. Now I already ground the one with a jig um, and it kind of gave me the idea like, all right, I'm going to grind one with a jig and then I'm gonna grind one free hand, and then I'm gonna see what you guys think as far as which one looks better with this knife. So let's jump right into it. Uh, we're gonna do this on the TX grinder. I'm probably gonna take it up to a 120 grit finish. Again, we're trying to do this kind of fast, efficient as possible, but still have a nice clean finish. These are probably gonna get stone washed because they are 1095. I like to do something with that those carbon steel blades to help protect them from rust. So let's get right into it. 36 grit, then 60 grit, then a 120 grit, and let's see how it looks. All right, so before we get into it, I am using a file guide to grind my bevels freehand. I don't think uh, that's cheating or anything. It's just going to help give me a nice crisp uh, plunge and make for a better end result. You can see I've got it taped up behind it to keep it from scratching and put a 36 grit belt on, and I'm going to set the time lapse on get this thing ground, then I'm gonna show you the comparison of the two, and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit too about how I feel about the jig too. I wanna talk to you guys about that. So hang tight, let's get this thing ground. So that freehand bevel, start to finish, looking at the clock, took me nine minutes to grind, okay? Now, this is, uh, it, if I was making this knife and I was going to do a satin finish on it, I would have taken it up to a 220 grit or possibly even higher, and I would have taken a little bit more time to refine it and crisp it up a little bit more. Now... Just because I'm doing this for this video, um, I, and part of what I wanted to talk about uh, for it was the amount of time that it takes to, to grind both ways. I wanted to talk about the time. And so you can see here, I'm just trying to wipe, I picked up a little rust because I didn't put anything on the flats uh, before grinding it. And... Yeah, that plunge is a little funny, but it looks okay. So here is the freehand ground. Uh, I went from a 36, a 60, and then a 120. And again, I normally would take it up a little higher, but I'm just trying to do it as fast as possible. Now you can see, let's see if I can get the lighting right here. How that side looks and then how that side looks. So it's relatively even. Like I said, I could have crisped up that plunge a little more, but for a stonewash finish, this is actually gonna look pretty good. Um, 
I'm happy with it at least. And again, I think the the there's a weird debate with freehand grinding versus jig grinding. And I think that both of them take a lot of skill and time and practice to get right. Um, so I don't look down on anybody that grinds with a jig or grinds freehand only uh, because I know what it takes to be able to grind a clean bevel and um, there's a lot that goes into it. Now, the one thing that I'm sure you guys know about a lot of my knives is I really like to angle my plunge like this one and then I always bring the scale up at that same angle, cut it back over that jimping. So this profile worked good for that. And I think it adds a little bit of character. A lot of people say when I post one of my knives, they say I immediately knew it was my knife. You know, I think that that's part of the um, grinding freehand versus grinding with a jig uh, that maybe sets you apart from other people. Um, everybody freehand grinds differently and uh, they always turn out a little different. And I kind of like that um, as far as the custom knife uh, situation goes you want to have a little bit of character in it or else you know maybe you just go pick one up at walmart now let me show you uh how this uh jig grind went i got a little bit of layout die on it still i'm going to clean off and basically i put a little bit of layout die on the flats to mark how high up i ground my bevel on each side that way i can attempt to match both sides. Now this one took me uh, about 25 minutes to grind because, you know, setting up the tooling, switching the grinder around a little bit, um, and it's just a little more time consuming to do this. Uh, but I did the same thing. I brought it to a 120 grit finish and overall it turned out pretty good. But you can see I've got a really flat plunge which you could adjust it and angle the plunge a little bit with that jig but uh, it's a little more tricky and they are relatively even you can see again I tried to do it as fast as possible kind of to test myself and I, I could have crisped this up a little bit more than what it is uh, but again pretty even you can see it's a little off there, but again, this was kind of a little bit of a time challenge. Now, again, I think that goes for freehand grinding and grinding with the jig. Um, you know, you can take your time and you can really make it as nice as you want to make it, uh, which is kind of cool about this. Um, I'm happy with both of these. They're both going to perform really good. Um, and I guess I just wanted to make this video to get your guys' thoughts on freehand and bevels or and jigs and and all that stuff because again i think it's uh something that gets brought up a lot and people say oh it's ground with a jig it's not a custom knife but um i'm here to tell you grinding with a jig takes a lot of skill just like freehand grinding um i personally prefer freehand just because like i said it adds a little bit of character to that knife that um, it just puts a little of the maker into the knife. And I think that's pretty cool. And I think that's why a lot of people want to buy custom knives. Um, if they want perfection, they'll go buy a Benchmade or a, a production knife that's made with a machine. And I think being able to see little subtle flaws and details in a knife that's handmade is actually really cool. As close to perfection as you can get them, but when you can say, I can tell that was freehand ground or I can see, you know, something. I like that part of this situation. So anyways, there they are, guys. I want to hear your guys' feedback on this. I think that uh, I'm going to be sending one of these back to Swag so they can check it out. Um, and I'll probably keep one and uh, mess around with it a little bit because it's actually, I really like the profile. If you guys want to pick up one of these blanks, they sell them. I think they're only $20 at Swag's website. I'll probably try to put a link in the description of this video. Um, if you have any questions before you ask certain things, go check out my specific grinding videos that I have on freehand grinding and on grinding with a jig, because everything I did in today's video, I did it exactly like I filmed those videos. Nothing's really changed. Um, and hopefully that'll answer your questions. If not, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back with you. 
Um, if you like this video, make sure you check out all my other content and also check out my Patreon account for just five or 10 bucks a month. You can help support the channel and it just means a ton. Um, I really, really appreciate everybody that's gotten in on that. Uh, a lot of really, really cool stuff coming up uh, in the near future uh, as far as videos go. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And like always, guys, thank you for watching.